So you need to find scholarly journal articles for your research. Library databases are a great tool to, to search for reliable information to use on your topic. At Jenks, we have over 100 different databases you can choose to search. This video will teach you how to select the appropriate database to search and how to enter your keywords in order to find relevant articles on your topic. To begin searching for scholarly articles on a library database, go to the library homepage at www.gordon.edu slash library. In the Search the Library section, click on the Database tab. If you know the name of the database you're looking for, you can run a quick search in the box provided, or click on the View All Databases to open the complete list of all databases available at Jenks. Library databases can either be subject-specific or multidisciplinary. You should select which database you search based on the topic area of your research question. Jenks has many subject-specific databases. You can filter this database list by subject area to get an idea about which databases might match best with certain topics. Notice that for some of these subject categories, such as education, when you filter you'll see a best bets box at the top suggesting where you might begin. For your research in both music and education, we have many databases that will provide access to different kinds of information. Some of our databases, such as ERIC or Academic Search Complete, are best used for locating peer-reviewed articles on topics within the field of music education. Other databases will provide access to background information. You already saw some examples of these in the starting out section. Grove Music Online is a great place to begin for some of this background type information. You'll also find databases that allow you to stream audio files or access sheet music. Nexus Music is a great database for audio files. To access these music-related databases, use the subject dropdown to select the subject area of interest. For example, music. You can see that we've got in our best bets options for the subject area of music, Groove Music Online, and then three different options for Naxos that you might be interested in taking a look at. This video is going to focus on how you use library databases to find scholarly peer-reviewed articles in databases like ERIC. So we're actually going to go back to our subject category here and select education. And the database that we are going to take a look at is ERIC. Please note that if you're accessing resources from off campus, when you click on the name of a database, this is the time where you will be prompted to log into Blackboard first before being directed immediately to the database search page. If you're on campus, you can simply click on the name of the database and you'll be directed right to a search page that looks like this. At the top of this database search page are the search boxes. You'll only use these for entering the keywords you would like to search. And then the rest of the information on this page is how you limit what results you'd like to repeat. To begin your searching, type in your keywords into the search boxes at the top of the screen. Let's say we're interested in finding scholarly research articles about teaching world music in an elementary music classroom. From this question, we might pull up the keywords world music and elementary education and enter those into our search. Notice that when we start typing elementary education, some suggestions actually appear. You might decide at this particular stage that there are other potential synonyms of some of your keywords that you can include in your search results. So for example, on elementary education, we're going to add the search operator or and also say we want primary education. After you enter your keywords, you can then filter your results to return a specific set of information. One important checkbox that you always want to remember to select on a page that looks like this is the peer-reviewed or scholarly checkbox. This will return only articles that are considered to be reputable and have been through the peer review process. Other filtering options on this page include selecting a specific date range, a document type, audience, and more. By default, you'll notice that we already have a few filters preset for you as well, and they all have to do with full text access to articles. Print at Gordon, Full Text in EBSCO, and Full Text in another database have been pre-selected so that anything you find right now in your search will have immediate access to either online or in print at Jenks. At any time, if you want to look beyond what Gordon has available, you can simply uncheck those boxes and search within the entire database's index. Once you have your keywords entered and your limiter set, go ahead and click search. For our initial search in the ERIC database, we return 35 articles that has something to do with world music and elementary education. Review the list of results for articles that are of interest to you. When you found a title that looks interesting, click on the blue title link to view the record. Basic information about the article will be at the top of the record, such as the source or journal that it's published in, an abstract or summary of the actual article, 
and other helpful information such as descriptor terms that might help you brainstorm other potential keywords that you might search by. To the left under the detailed record header will be the options for accessing the full text of this article. In this case, we have two potential access options, either HTML full text or PDF full text. You can click on either one of these, so for example, the PDF full text, and the full article will appear. One pro tip for researching that I would recommend is if you're finding a couple articles in a search in a database like Eric, and you're really excited about some of them, but you need to find more, go straight to the reference page in an article like this and ask yourself, what did these authors cite while they were working on their paper? And are there any of these potential articles that I actually might be able to find and use in my own research? Looking at someone else's reference list is a great way to build your own. Eric is just one example of a database you can use to search for scholarly peer-reviewed articles in topics related to music education. Other databases that you might find useful include the Professional Development Collection, which is another education-specific resource, or Academic Search Complete and JSTOR, which are two of our largest multidisciplinary databases that we have available. Thanks for watching, and remember, if you need any help, ask James.